Okay, so what we're trying to do here is cut a metric thread. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is a one and a half millimeter pitch, so got my metric thread gauge here. Get this so you can see it. And yeah, it is one and a half millimeters. So, right now, actually, let, me, uh, let me move the camera over to the other side of the lathe. Okay, right now my lathe is set up for cutting um, Imperial, you know, SAE gears. So you can see up the top here, I've got a 40 tooth connected to you know it's connected to the 127 but it's just an idler because this one 40 tooth down here which drives my quick change is hooked up so we gotta change this a little bit hopefully you can see this chart okay hang on a second here let me get this in the macro mode Alright, I'm hand holding this in macro mode, so hopefully you can see this, but uh, we want to cut a one and a half pitch, so we're going to be on C1, you can see that there, and we're going to be connecting up the gears. We're going to drive the 127 with the top gear, we're going to take the, uh, the bottom gear, the 120, and uh, drive the change box with it. So I'm going to get the wrench out and I'm going to get all dirty moving these gears and I'll show you what I did after I get undirty and turn this camera back on again. So stand by once again. Okay, hopefully you're going to be able to see this with everything in the way, but basically what I have to do is this gear here because we want to go from 40 teeth this one here driving a 127 tooth and this is a 120 tooth and we want that driving this gear so what you got what I have to do on this lathe is I have a little spacer that I've machined I haven't taken the stuff off in quite a while so And of course it's all covered with um, chain lube so it's really slippery and sticky. Okay, here it comes. Okay, so Probably should make sure that thing can't start too. Be a good safety tip. Okay, so here's there's a little key in here. And then I got my little collar that I made. So all I have to do is push the collar on first. Then push the gear on and it lines up perfectly with that that other gear, that 122 tooth gear. Put the key back in. Make sure that gear is seated down. Put this, put this screw back in. Okay, and now what I do is Gotta be gentle here. I don't want to break a tooth off, but okay. Okay, so now all I have to do is adjust the bolt here to get the gears to mesh up properly. And this banjo. Actually, this one. Shouldn't have to change it's this one. Oh, it may 
might be both of them. Let's find out. Okay, yeah, it is going to have to be both. Okay, so I'm going to mesh these gears properly. Once I do this, I'll show you what, what needs to be done, but right now I'm fighting it. Okay, so what you want here is, this is adjusted properly now, We're pretty close to it. You don't want these gears to bottom out. You want a little bit of play in them. Okay. So. <clears throat> put the thing in gear here. Take this down to a sand level. Well, clear to start. Okay, and that sounds, the gears are meshing properly, so, um, so we're all set to cut some metric threads here. Let me uh, clean up the mess, and um, set up for thread cutting on the OD of this thing, and that should uh, pretty much finish it up for us, except for maybe some cleanup. Okay, so we're all set up here. I uh, got my Iscard lay down threading tool and tool holder. It's on center, it's squared up to the part. I uh, did a scratch test cut. It's exactly the correct pitch. So we're ready to start. Now, I'm going to try something I never tried before. I'm not going to cut a relief groove at the end of this thread. I'm going to try the A-bomb quick flip of the cross slide lever. And hopefully I won't screw up and wreck this part that I've put hours and hours of work into. But hey, what the heck, right? It's all fun. So uh, I, guess, uh, I guess I will film this. You know, you guys are entitled to see potential disasters. So let me get the camera set up in an angle that uh, We'll either show how great I am or how hurting I am, and we'll see what happens here. Stand by. All right, let's cut some metric threads. Okay, well, it's not pretty, but I'm getting it down. One of the things you cannot do is disengage the half nut like I did. Okay, this was the way to go. So, another cut here, just bend it back to my zero. Okay, here we go, little pass. Back the tool out, reverse the lathe. Okay, 
my five thou cut. Put some juice on it while we're at it. Okay, here we go. Starting to look like a thread. Making it on there now. Mm. Right. 